In today's video, we're going to go over some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. Stay at your school. Hey guys, part two of the signs and symptoms if you think that you might have been MK Ultrad. If you haven't seen part one yet, I highly encourage you to go check that one out also if this resonates with you. Okay, in part one, I forgot to mention the most important one. <laughs> so, starting off with number one, you were in. I mean, I, I suppose something else could have happened to you too. It doesn't have to necessarily be these programs, but you were in a tag program. Um, I was in a tag program in grade school in Portland, Oregon. Um, and tag is talented and gifted. So some kind of gifted program. Um, there was the people were saying there's the gate, um, gifted and talented something. Um, there's a lot of different names for them. So it doesn't have to be tag, but it was some kind of gifted program. And now also part of this. Um, so if you were in one of those programs, did you stay at your school? So you didn't leave your school, you stayed there and you can remember what happened or they took you somewhere else. They either bust you from your school to a whole nother building somewhere else on Marine Drive in Portland, Oregon. And I have the video on that. And I'm also going to go back tomorrow. Side note. I'm sorry. Okay. So they either bust you somewhere else to a different location, or a lot of people are saying they took them into like trailers. I'm sorry. And basically with that one, you can't remember anything. You can barely remember anything. Um, but also, too, some of your memories could have come back up. Okay, because people are saying that this programming um, like starts to wear off or break down at like age 30 or something. So you also could definitely be having the memories coming back up. Or watching the videos and stuff might be like triggering and it, it, for me, for, and for a lot of people, it is bringing the videos and people talking about stuff is bringing more memories back up. Another interesting one off of this is that at some point in your life, or just by hearing me say this story, tell this story, you will feel like it'll be like, you'll recognize it. At some point in your life, a friend or maybe a family member or somebody, but like a friend revealed to you like somehow either a letter that they wrote or that you wrote that said like the truth and so at some point in your life they like revealed something to you that they're like no don't you remember you da 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 da, da. or like they took you and da, 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 da. they erased your memories da, 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 da. something there was something like that that happened or you're remembering it now and it could also feel like when you remember this and you're like, whoa, that is familiar. I feel like that happened. That happened to me too. And then you're immediately like, wait a minute. Did, am I just like imagining this memory or is this real? Because part of the MK Ultra programming, the mind control programming, all of this programming, it is mind fuckery, guys. So another sign or symptom is that you could definitely, definitely feel like you're crazy and feel like you're going crazy. And if you go down a rabbit hole and, and start doing too much of this, you could feel like you're fucking going crazy. And also people in your life, even like family members and friends and everyone probably also made you feel like you were crazy. And personally, like for me, if those people, I feel like, I feel like if those people weren't in on it, then they're probably like narcissists or somebody who are just terrible because people shouldn't not be trying to make you feel like you're crazy. Real people, real friends will not try to make you feel like you're crazy. Okay, next one. And this is definitely a trigger warning. Okay. Um, you could feel like, like you have torture trauma and not only torture trauma. So like, things could be very triggering for you when you see it on movies. Like 
when I first watched the the movie Deadpool and hit the hit the torture stuff, I like was about to get violently sick, like sick, like puke. It was insane. I cannot watch it. I can't like even fucking think about it. Like, so if you have severe torture trauma like you don't want to get okay and, and also this too like you don't want to get taken again you have these feelings of like you don't know but you know like you know like you know that you do not want to get taken again you do not want to get experimented on you do not want to get like captured trapped whatever taken and you do not want to get experimented on and even just thinking about that stuff could be very, very triggering. And also, like, you just want to, like, scream or cry, or, like, angry and crying and, like, a, like reaction to this stuff. And, like, because a, a lot of the stuff that I believe that they did um, was they hooked us up to things. They did a lot of testing. They did a lot of testing because they wanted to test your gifts. They wanted to test your abilities. They wanted to see what you could do for them. And also, if they could con control you. If they could manipulate and control you. If you were malleable. If you would do their bidding. Like, just like, just, you know, just do it. Like a, like a soldier. Like, follow orders. Don't ask questions. Okay, so you also could feel some type of way just thinking about, like I said, like being hooked up to stuff, like looking into a monitor, looking into a box, having things on your eyes, having things on your face. I'm not going to get into some of it because I, I can't. Okay. And hopefully you get it on that one. Cause I'm just going to stop that one right there. Oh yeah. And people are um, comparing this to like stranger things because you guys, there are so many movies. If you want to see examples of this stuff, there's so many movies. Um, and so many things, there's so many things you can look up, like, that will show you examples. Like, they put it right out there in our faces. And Stranger Things is definitely one of them. Like, you know, Eleven was trapped, being experimented on because she was highly gifted. And they just used her. And they didn't even give her a name. They gave her a fucking number. That tells you right there what they think of us. Like just like everybody, just hu like humans, just like cattle, so using them for what they can do. Torture, trauma. <sighs> if, okay, so if you need to, you know, take some deep breaths and breathe into your, wherever you're feeling it the most and like, let it go. Just imagine all of that just leaving and try to bring peace into your body. Nice deep breath in. And out. And remember that it was all in the past. Like if your inner child and your abuse and trauma and stuff is tripping right now, it was, remind, remind yourself, it was all in the past. Another nice deep breath in. Let it all go. You are safe now. Okay, and I don't know if I already said this or not, but this is another one. I don't think I've said it yet in, in one of these two videos. Um, here's the next one. It is, you might not feel safe. And you definitely don't feel, sa like, might not feel safe to talk about stuff. Um, You know, to, like, to help bring awareness and everything. You might not feel safe because, again, you don't want to get taken. You might have felt like you wanted to go into hiding. You definitely do. Oh, oh my God, you guys are the cutest puppy ever. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyways, you also might definitely have felt like um, you have been gang stalked, um, had handlers, narcissists in your life, handlers in your life, fake friends, lots of betrayal, um, paranoia. I'm hearing schizophrenia. Voices in your head, images in your head, um, almost been, um, they try to get you to unalive yourself like a lot. Um, and also too, I have had personally like tons of car accidents and I have almost, almost died so many fucking times. I can't even remember anymore. It is insane. And you will, you can feel like you're going crazy and insane. And most people like, you know, won't believe you because it does sound fucking crazy. And that's why they did that. They made it sound crazy so that people wouldn't believe it. 
I have nothing. So that kind of blew my mind a little bit because I remember a lot in school and those trailers kind of were a blur to me until she mentioned it. And now I remember the trailers and now I, I don't remember what was inside of them. So that was pretty crazy. That's a pretty crazy coincidence. And now I'm kind of wondering like, what, what was that? <laughs> What do you guys think about this? Has anything like that ever happened to you? Have you ever experienced going to school and a special agency comes to school bringing their own portable classrooms, basically? And if so, do you remember what happened in them? Because I am drawing blanks. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And if you look at this graph, you'll see that 19% of the viewers that watch my content are actually subscribed, but 80% are not subscribed, but they keep coming back to watch more of my content. So to those 19% that are subscribed, Thank you so much. Your mouth breathers breathing through your mouth. It actually cuts your life expectancy by 10 years. It changes the structure of your mouth. It pushes your teeth out and make you talk different. It gives you rotten tongue. It gives you thrust on the mouth. It messes with your circadian rhythm when you're trying to go to sleep. That's why they even created some type of band-aids and stuff or tape that you can literally close your mouth with when you're sleeping because they have figured out that with mouth breathing, you don't get delta wave sleep. Delta wave sleep is a deep sleep you get to regenerate and heal your body because most of the healing process go on when you in your sleeping stage but you can't get that when you're not actually going into them deep rams of sleep and you're producing something called delta waves the lack of oxygen is what is what messes with your sleeping pattern oxygen is used to actually create something uh called glutathione glutathione is actually a detoxification mechanism in the body it opens up something called the nrf2 pathways of the cells these pathways are made for the cells can get out what they eaten just like you have to eat and then after you eat you have to go defecate you have 150 trillion cells in your body to have to eat drink and defecate as well it defeats the purpose in talking are we not able to talk does that lower our life expectancy as well because every time we talk we take inhales and then we exhale so are we supposed to communicate with our mind or just not talk or does this only apply to sleeping what's your thoughts on this one because i don't know if i necessarily believe it or not what if we got it all wrong what if you and i aren't humans or humanoids at all but instead we are damn angels we are angels what is an angel an angel is an angle of light the difference between angels and demons being of light and lack of light, which we can infer as being darkness. So the demons or daemons being of darkness, whereas angels are revealers of light. But don't be confused because what we're talking about when we say we are who we are, that is within this meat suit. So the earthly body in our sense of the word is human, humanoid, but who you really are is within the body. And that is the angle of light making you when you're ready an angel seriously that's what this great spiritual awakening has been about is people are finally accepting this truth and becoming consciously aware of who they really are so yes for those of you who are not yet awakened to this alertness or this awareness that's happening in our world where we distinguish the difference between old earth and new earth and all these solar flares and the human resonance and all these different light bringers light bearers light workers healers star seats rainbow warriors and all these other brand of angels that are coming into your tiktok feed and teaching you how to be completely spiritual free and all that good stuff it's hard it's hard for you to understand and i get that what if the story of the garden of eden and adam and eve in genesis is actually a story about the tree of knowledge being consciousness we went from being these vessels this humanoid fleshly earthly beings that lacked a higher state of consciousness and there was manipulation between the gods of the old world anunnaki elohim whatever you want to call them that by way of this parable of the garden and the representation of the apple being knowledge consciousness everything changed now we have this capability of being higher beings angels revealers of light just think about it like this every single one of you and i don't care who you are or how much bullshit is surrounding you you are all capable of revealing light and when we understand that angels are light bringers or bearers or whatever you want to get, light workers, 
then you understand that you are actually an angel. You have superpowers. And the entire scripture is teaching you how to embrace your superpowers by way of understanding how Jesus, who is the flesh, freed himself from the flesh and became the Christ. And that is what the lesson is for each of us to understand and why truth is invalid as far as facts, math, and science trying to prove something as being the absolution of truth like gravity. What's really happening is each of us have our own interpretations of truth and whatever you give power to that and by way of faith, that's that's your truth, and it's relevant to becoming who you truly are, an angel. Man, how many followers am I going to lose with this video? I'm frankly the voice with Let's All Become Heroes. Follow for more truth. This was pretty interesting. I, I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but I could be completely oblivious and blind to this fact. I've never even thought of it. What's your thoughts on this? Do you think we're actually angels or do you think that we are maybe descendants of angels or do you think that there is only angels and we are not that? What the heck is going on here? This is the CEO of Pfizer. What is this? Can anyone explain to me what is going on in this man's throat? Here, I'll play it again. Can anyone explain to me what's going on? That vaccine we're not straightforward because of the new technologies. We're talking about countries here that do not have Now I don't want to jump to conclusions, but is he part reptile or part toad? All jokes aside, I really have no idea what I just watched. I don't know if that's even real, if that's a deep fake or what. Maybe he's just trying to cough, he has something in his throat. I don't know. What do you think? is going on there. Do you think he just had something in his throat? You need to clear his throat. He is a reptilian. He is a fallen angel. W what do you guys think? Please let me know. And if somebody can reenact that where you're... I see, I can't like do that. It's like it was like down here and like his face wasn't changing. Like his mouth it was just... I, I don't know. I I'm, I'm trying to reenact it. I really can't. But again, I am a human being. <laughs> that might be my issue here. But let me know, guys. Love you guys all so much. God bless. And remember, the just shall live. And he's just doing it like dead stared. He's just not even blinking barely. He's just solid face inflating his neck. I, I don't know. It's very strange. But it probably isn't because he's a reptile person, right? Please watch this video if you have not been feeling like yourself and just way off. I know most of my content talks about this, but there is a huge vibrational consciousness shift happening on the planet. If you don't consider yourself a conspiracy theorist, if you don't dig into rabbit holes and don't question anything, it's going to be very hard for you to understand why you feel this way. And it's not about the conspiracy theories. It's just about the fact that we've been lied to our entire lives. Our souls all agreed to reincarnating into this enslavement dimension where your consciousness would be sedated to its full capacity, where you would be taught to operate out of fear and separation and just pure ego, a dimension where you trust your mind instead of your heart, instead of your soul. Your intuition knows. It knows everything. This has to come to an end, and we're there right now. I've known about this for a really long time, but I didn't know it would feel this way. I have known for a very long time that the old system was going to be flipped, that we would welcome so much peace and so much love on the planet but before that could happen there would be a transitional phase to welcome that and this is this is it they have to reset the planet you guys they're going to shut down the planet and i'm not saying this to scare you because i know so many people have no idea about this type of stuff i feel like using the term conspiracy theorist isn't even legit anymore because they're not theories there are so many things that have been kept and hidden away. So many, it's just, I can't even, my brain is so tired of thinking about it. It's so much. But wouldn't it make sense that you reincarnated here because you are pure and unconditional love and that you came here to bring love back on the planet? Because there have been beings who are literally beings of darkness, the dark side, whatever you want to call it, that they have been in power behind the scenes and because human beings are so good, they don't ask questions, they let it be, they comply, good stuff. Wouldn't it make sense that your powerful individual perception of infinite consciousness needed you to reincarnate at this time to get acquainted with this old mechanism of control and spiritual energetic enslavement? but that you were here to welcome the bridge on the other side. 
I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I know it's going to be so different. And it's starting now because I do not feel the same. There is a huge energetic shift happening for the collective, meaning it's happening to you, it's happening to me, it's happening to everybody. Not everyone is aware of this. So they might not welcome it the same way. They might say they're depressed. They might say they're sick. But if we're shifting energetic dimensions, obviously your physical body is not going to be the same. Your physical body is trying to teach you to operate from your heart, from love, and no longer from the ego and your mind and fear and doubts and just no willingness to surrender. We have been so traumatized into this third dense dimension that we don't trust. We're control freaks. And it has to be revealed now that it's actually not how it works, that you're actually a very powerful spiritual being, that all of the technologies to heal all of these illnesses and sicknesses already exist, that if the educational system wasn't about indoctrination and ramming little kids' brain into following a written, created narrative, the world would be so, so different because we are so peaceful and loving and kind. But when you shove us into physical circumstances that force us to become scared and force us to think that we're not connected to anyone else here, obviously it might be easier to keep the whole population on the vibration of hate and separation. And ugh. this has to come to an end. And that's what's happening. And I know it's hard to believe. Is she crazy? What is she talking about? How does she know? But don't you feel it? I know you fucking feel it. I wrote an ebook called How to Not Lose Your Shit After Unplugging from the Matrix. I highly suggest you give it a read if you've been feeling overwhelmed with everything that you know, or if you're curious, or whatever it is. But if you feel called to this, like it could bring you comfort, it's because I promise you it will. I wrote it because I realized that no one talks about being aware of these things and how do I keep existing. And we're literally in times where it feels impossible to keep existing like we once did. I don't even feel like myself. I feel like I'm getting to know myself in such a different light. You're not alone in this. Please don't think you're alone. Like, I'm right there with you. I love you. And I am sending you such a big, warm hug right now. Yeah, I've noticed also, maybe within the past two years... I really feel like there is a change happening as well. Like I just, something in my stomach is just telling me that something big is about to happen soon and there's going to be a change potentially for the better, but that's the part I'm not 100% sure of. I, I, it feels like it's going to be for the better. Do any of you have this feeling as well? Do you guys feel like there is a big change about to happen for the better or do you feel like it's for the worse and if so let me know in the comments on which one and why because that is interesting what do you know about the bermuda triangle have you ever been there for work purposes or training purposes i was there once for training purposes how long of a period of time how long i was there 12 hours by boat by plane? It doesn't make a difference. I was there. Physically? Yes. What was your purpose for being there? Training. I told you. Training what? I was going through training. And what were you doing? Someone was teaching me certain energies and how to manipulate them and how to retrieve them and how to use this magnetic energy that everybody's speaking about to your benefit in order for you to recharge yourself, in order to recharge others. Can you explain the weird things that are going on there? A lot of missing planes and ships and what they call like electronic fog and all these things. What's going on there if you know and if you can share? It's not electronic fog. It's um, frequency fog, if you want to use this word. Everybody speaks about magnets. It's not like if you dive in, you see the magnets. It's not magnets. It's frequency magnets. That depending what's happening at a specific moment. This frequency can pull you in, or this frequency can eject you out. What would cause for a pulling in or a radiating out? It's according to the energy field, action or reaction, at that moment underneath the surface of the water, the surface of the bottom of the ocean, I mean. Does it have anything to do with the core of this planet? Of course. 
And what's the purpose of that happening there? Like, what's the significance? Is there any control over it? Is it random? I know that when I asked you, can I fly over it? I want to film a documentary. You told me absolutely not. There are magnets down there that can activate spontaneously, and that's very dangerous, and you can disappear. Correct. If this frequency will react at the moment that you're there, you'll be sucked in. Is that controllable? Not by governments, if that's what you're asking. No. Is it controllable by you? No, I'm not. I'm not that good. No. But certain people can, can control the frequency if they want to go there. The same way that this person took me there. You can control the situation. There is no fear or danger for us at that time, no matter what happens. And what is the purpose? You're calling them frequency magnets. I don't really understand what that means. It's not plates of magnets. Those metal things that you call a magnet. It's a frequency. It's an energy field that has a certain frequency. The frequency can suck you in. And if it's being reversed, it can eject you. And when you say eject, what do you mean by that? It could throw you off and push you very long distances where it can. Physically, a normal human most likely will not survive it. I'll have to look up unified.tv because if this is a real interview, this is extremely fascinating because I would love to learn a little bit more about the Bermuda Triangle. I've always been super fascinated with this, even since I was a kid. So I think I'll look up more about this potentially. What is your thoughts about the Bermuda Triangle? Do you think it's real or do you have any info on it or any good sources to watch content from? Because I'm curious in this. This was a really good little episode. Understand this, you have top elite hackers that exist, and I want you to really wrap your head around this. Once one of them target you, I know this sounds scary and crazy, but it's legit the truth. You can't do nothing about it. You would just have to take it. They will hand you the L and you just, you just got to rock with it. They can legit make you homeless. They will sell your home. They can ruin your business. They can steal your identity. They can become a better you than you. It gets even scarier than that. You have the hackers that know social engineering, and that's what makes them dangerous. They understand the minds of people, aka psychology. They will manipulate you and trick you to give up information about themselves without even knowing. And after that, they make a nice little present to use against you. And oftentimes, going to the cops does absolutely nothing. You just have to take your L, put it on the side of your bed, and go to sleep. So most hackers, they normally just go for banks and big organizations and things like that. But they have been known to attack individuals as well. And that's pretty scary. This planet and humans have been observed by extraterrestrial civilizations. I mean, there are cave drawings from 5,000 years ago that show a classic UFO with these life forms outside of it. There's uh, artwork from the 1400s that demonstrate and show these objects in the sky with a beam of light coming down. There's a cave in India that has similar artwork. But I think that the modern era, let's call it the modern era where there's so much of this going on, coincided precisely with the detonation and development and then detonation of the first atomic weapons. Because when we detonate those things, what we didn't know, what Oppenheimer and Teller, all the people worked on the Manhattan Project didn't know. <clears throat> There's an electromagnetic pulse, and it is in this entangled aspect of quantum physics, and it disrupts extraterrestrial travel and communications. So that got everyone's attention out there, these other star systems. I find it interesting that we do have old paintings, old cave markings that kind of depict the same thing that we do today with cell phones, where there's this blurry image in the sky of a disc-shaped object, and it kind of resembles like what they did in the past. Maybe thousands of years from now, if anyone can collect our data, they're going to be like, wow, these guys were seeing things in the sky. Just like how we look at the people that do the cave drawings and paintings, we're like, wow, they really seen things in the sky. <laughs> There's something they're not telling us that is so gnarly that um, they don't think people can handle it. Let's say these these aliens, wherever they're from, made us, that we're a genetic experiment, that they created our religions, our religious figures, that we are an agricultural product, that somehow they harvest us, that our time is limited, you know, that once the experiment's over, poof, we go away. 
But God, there's a giant leap between us and the other primates. A weird one. A w- real weird. We have hyper intelligence in comparison to everything else that's on the planet. We're not like anything else. I remember when there was a push back to have an intelligent design universe in the schools. And I wrote a column about it, just said, hey, be careful what you wish for, because you might find out that the intelligent designer isn't God that you're thinking of. It might be some alien science project or something like that. But you can imagine a lot of different things that would be really disturbing to people to come out. I don't really know if it would be disturbing if that type of information came out. Honestly, it would not bother me at all. I would be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But to some, would that really bother you if it did come out to be that all of human existence was done through alien experimentation? Or would you be fine with that? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As always, if you are interested in any of these clips, links will be down in the description below. And with that being said, have a good day.